Hello, I wanted to do a quick overview of my ringing phone prank. So this is an office phone that I found in the trash at work, and I decided to do a little uh, April Fool's joke. Um, as you can see, it's just a regular phone. You can't see anything out of the ordinary. Turn it over. There's nothing strange going on there. Um, let's take a closer look. So on the back here, just to make setting up the prank a little bit easier. I only have two um, buttons. Uh, they're very discreet. So up here, if you can see that, is a reset button for the microcontroller. And, important, and I forgot it the first time, down here is a power switch. So my batteries don't go dead. It also makes it so it won't ring when I don't want it to. So all you do is you flip the little switch, turn it back over. Right now it's it's running. Um, it, it checks to make sure that the phone is on the hook. So sitting like this it won't ring. As soon as you put the phone on the hook it starts a countdown timer. It gets a random number from 10 to 30 seconds and then it counts down from there. And then it rings. You pick up, it stops ringing. Now, put the phone back on the hook, it repeats. If any time during the countdown you pick up, it'll reset. So it'll regain the random number again. I also have this indicator light that I found and I hooked it up so that the phone will ring for a total of 30 seconds if it's not answered. Just so it's not so annoying. <laughs> and then the indicator will flash. So let's wait for that. So now it'll ring for a total of 30 seconds. And now it's done, and the message indicator flashes. And the phone has reset, and it will begin ringing again in that random interval. So we'll take the hook off. We'll leave it turned on. Or, well, yeah, we'll leave it turned on. So to get inside, like it was normally, there's just these two screws you have to take apart. So this is excitement right here. It's unscrewing this. Oh, so exciting. More screws. Alright. Now that we have the screws undone, pop the cover off, and there we go. Uh, it doesn't look much like the original phone. So, important parts. The most important part is the ringer here. These are the standard bells that came with it, with an addition this little tiny solenoid. Um, originally it has a coil on there and it's it's made to run with the AC signal that the phone gets uh, through the normal telephone service but I found that I could not run this ringer as was as it was so I replaced it with this 12 volt real or this 12 volt solenoid right here um, it's much easier to control for me since I have a 11.1 volt battery, uh, yes, you can run them at lower voltage than they're rated for. It just means it will have less pulling force. And all this has to do is slam this little um, bell here, this ringer here, back and forth. Right here's the reset switch, super glued in. Um, you've seen the battery. I took the hook switch out. Um, that was actually an accident that I that came out. I couldn't get it back together after I took it apart the first time. But it worked out in the end because otherwise I wouldn't have a good place to put the battery. I replaced the hook switch with this little tiny limit switch so that when the phone goes on the hook 
it knows that the phone is on the hook now. Now for the brains. Yes, right there. If you can see really well, it says RC controller. That is wrong. I built this for a airboat that I airboat project that I never finished. So I just repurposed it. All it is is an AT Mega 328, the SMD version, on a custom built PCB, and it runs just like an Arduino. The only difference is, is that it's smaller, a lot cheaper, and it has this as the programming header, no USB. So, and then here are the power inputs. Uh, there's two because for the project I was working on, I had an input and then an output. And, well, I couldn't get the connector off there again. So, it stays on there. And that's about it. So, let me show you the, the bell ringing. It's kind of cool to look at. We'll put the hook down. Give it a minute. And there you go. Thanks for watching.